We had a, a few people tell us, well, it's just leukemia, it's not that bad. I don't think they understand. I don't think people understand how, how tough child, just not just leukemia, but childhood cancer is and how tough it is on the kids and how tough it is on parents. A Boise mom sharing what having a child with cancer is really like and it's touching people all over the Treasure Valley, the state and the country and the world. The journey for her daughter Jessie has been a tough one and she is documenting, documenting it on Facebook. The poster raw and very real, and hundreds of people are inspired by Jesse's strength. Our Maggie O'Mara has the touching story of Jesse's journey in tonight's Seven's Hero. February 22nd of this year. It's a day that James and Jennifer Severns will never forget. Their 14-year-old daughter Jessie was feeling sick. We thought, you know, she has the flu. It's not anything really big. Let's get her in and see what's going on. A pediatrician walked over and said, well, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is cancer. She has T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The Severns were shocked. Suddenly, their lives were in a tailspin. The night that she was diagnosed, she knew she was getting chemo. And she said, well, Mom, I need to cut my hair. She had long beautiful blonde hair and she said I need to cut my hair we need to donate it. Treatment started right away. It's been months. Jessie was and still is exhausted. Tired. What she's been through has been brutal. It hurt. How long have you been throwing up for? Since the start of it. Since the start of cancer? Yeah. Can you tell everybody how it feels when you get joint pain? Like someone's breaking my bones. Like someone's breaking your bones. The procedures that she's gone through, the chemo that she's gone through, there is nights that we were staying up all night and she just threw up constantly. And then she would just put a smile on her face and say, well, I'm sorry, mom, I'm sorry you're staying awake with me. And uh, that's, that's not something that she needs to be sorry about. She's more worried about us or she's more worried about how we feel and you know as a mom now I'm gonna cry you can't cuddle them you can't soothe them to make that go away you can't you can't just take that pain um, at that moment away from them and and it is it is hard for us it brought us together we were a lot closer both James and Jennifer are from huge families, so Jennifer started this Facebook page. We'll just start her own little page and then people can go there and check for updates. Hundreds of people started following Jesse's journey, people the Severns don't even know. Just in a few days, it was spread out to the Treasure Valley, so then it was shared around the United States. I never expected it to go as far as it did. With Jessie's permission, her mom posts photos and videos daily. Her posts are raw, sometimes even painful to look at, showing the reality of childhood cancer. We had a lot of people that just thought, well, it's just cancer, you can, you know, you can get through this. That was like an aha moment. Let's let people see how, how cancer really is for these kids. These are the things that I'm going through. These are the things that Jessie's going through. What's one thing that you want to do when you get done with cancer? Be a normal kid. Be a normal kid? She says sharing Jesse's battle is impacting others in a big way. I know a lot of people are now donating to St. Jude's. They've um, offered to volunteer and they're inspired by it. You'll also Aww. see the stories of the other kids Jesse meets at the hospital, little cancer warriors. JW. JW. Is it fun? Yeah. Jessie loves babies. There is good news for Jessie. She may not feel great just yet, but she is currently in remission. She has a fantastic prognosis. October 28th, we start maintenance, and we just need to keep those cancer cells kind of at bay. Her mom can't wait to post that Jessie is back doing what she loves, like having sushi. Jesse's parents want to say thank you to all the people who are helping them through this. Every message, every comment, we read those. It, it brings a smile to her. Um, it helps lift her up. Even on our bad days, that love, we feel it from, from everybody. 7-0.
Jesse's mom also told us that she shaved her head so Jesse wouldn't feel so alone. Jesse is looking forward to her long blonde hair growing back. It's already started to come in just a little bit. She is a beautiful girl. For more information on her journey, Jesse's journey, check out this story on our website. We'll connect you to her on her Facebook page.